This video tutorial will demonstrate how to add animation to a PowerPoint slideshow on a Mac. What we're going to do here first is an example with the animation of text. So first we're here on the home tab and we're going to go to add a text box. So this is just adding regular text. So now that we have this text, we can select it. Notice when I click inside right next to the letters how it actually selects uh, so I can type. If I just want to select the box, if I go out to the edges here, then it's no longer uh, making it able to add text, but instead it's just selecting the box itself. From this point, we're going to click on animations. And what we're most interested in is the appear animation. What we've now done by clicking on Appear while this box was selected is we've made it so when we are in full screen, then clicking forward, we'll make it so this appears. I'm going to show you this now. I'm going to click on the full screen button here. Or here. <laughs> and this goes full screen. And what we're looking at is just the blank screen because we haven't clicked forward yet. Now I'm clicking the forward button on the keyboard and now it is available to pop up. If I click back, it goes away, and forward, now it shows up. If I'd like to add an animation to this to make it so after I click forward, it will go away, then all I have to do is go over to the exit effects, we just want disappear. Disappear is our most simple animation. It just makes it go away. When using animations, you don't want things to be fancy. You don't want spinning, cartwheeling text or anything. That's kind of ridiculous. You just want it to show up and go away. You don't want it to be distracting to your audience. So now let's go full screen again. If I click forward, it shows up. And now if I click forward again, it goes away. Notice that we have a 1 here and a 2 here as well. And over here, this coincides with that one and the two. We have the animation order. So what we've got is if we were to add something else on the slide and we animate that, we could maybe have the third animation effect or the fourth animation effect. Let me show you what this looks like. So let's say we wanted to add a picture. We're just going to have some random picture here. We'll say uh, clip art gallery. I don't know what's going to show up here, but we'll find something. OK, great, pencils. So we've got our picture of some pencils. Now if we want to make this appear as the third item of animation, we'll just have this selected. Notice how this is unselected. This is selected. You see how it's highlighted on the edges there. We'll go back to animations and we'll just click appear. So now notice we have the first thing that happens. So it'll start with a blank white screen. The first thing that happens will be this adding text thing shows up. Second thing that happens is this will disappear because we have the disappear animation here. And then the third thing that will happen is this is going to appear. So I'm going to go full screen. Now we have a blank white screen. I push forward once. It shows up. Push it again. It disappears. And then again, our third animation here was the appear for those pencils. And now we've got our pencils. Let's say we wanted to add the effect of disappear to our pencils. Notice how we have it selected here, disappear. And we've got that added for our fourth animation here. So let's take another look. We'll click full screen. One, appear. Two, disappear. Three, appear. Four, disappear. Other than that, there are many different things you can do with PowerPoint, but this is the most fundamental, is the ability to make something show up, make something disappear. So that way, if you don't want to have all of the items that you're displaying to your audience, uh, on the screen at the same time. This way you can get rid of them. You can also do this by using multiple slides, but it's important to understand how to use animations. Uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to have, let's say you, you're using some text and you wanted to have uh, adding texts. Let's say you had all this information, and for whatever reason you wanted to have it in the same text box. There's something that you can do here by clicking on this text box so we're, as things are appearing, you can actually highlight it here, 
see where it says text animations. You can animate text either by word, by letter, or you can do this on first, second, third, fourth, fifth level. Let's say you do this at fourth level. So we've got four different things here. And check out what happens. So we'll go full screen. Now we've added this, and it's the same text box, but since we're animating each individually, now second, third, fourth. So the text box had that effect of uh, showing up one at a time. And now we still have that disappear effect that was in order after our individual text appearing. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you're using a PC, it's going to look a little bit different. Unfortunately, I don't have a PC available to make a screencast for this kind of stuff, so I'm hoping that the animations are labeled the same. It's still either appear or disappear, and you just need to be able to find where it says animations, and the same rule still applies, just going to be located in a different spot. Wish you the best of luck, and let me know if you have questions or if you'd like clarification. Thanks.